Hey guys, I'm Ghazal and welcome to Immigrant. This is Sagar. Hello guys. So the purpose of having Ghazal on this video is because I was getting a lot of questions about this One Day Bharat mission and she just came about a month ago through this process. So I thought, you know, she would be the best person uh, to share, share her experience. So my first question is, uh, what's your status? Like, uh, do you have a COPR, work permit, uh, or are you a permanent resident, citizen? Uh, when I was in India, I had my COPR, and which was approved uh, before 18th March 2020. So I was allowed to board on this Vande Bharat flight. So uh, Gazal, where are you from uh, in India? I'm from Gujarat. Gujarat, okay. So. Uh, how did you travel from Gujarat to Delhi? Because uh, as far as I know that the mission, like the Vande Bharat mission, the flights are operating from Delhi airport. Uh, yes, that's true. I traveled through train and I booked my ticket uh, before few hours of my flight. So no. the train ticket? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, like uh, I reached uh, to Delhi uh, in the morning and my flights were, uh, were in late night. Your no. flight was late night, okay? Yeah. So I booked a hotel there uh, for staying, and it was, uh, I mean, in the premises, um, sorry, in the vicinity of three kilometers, mm -hmm. which is mandatory in this situation that you have to book your uh, hotel, hotel uh, near the airport. Oh, is it? Like, yeah. So it's mandatory, it should be like close to the airport? Yeah, almost uh, around three to seven kilometers are preferred by most of the people because there is a rule for quarantine that uh, if you are traveling from one state to other state uh, but those who have international flight tickets uh, it is not uh, mandatory for those people that they don't have to quarantine themselves oh okay uh, so how was your experience in the, the like during your train journey it was good uh, trains were very safe as trains uh, train bookings are only for those people who uh, who are booking their tickets like um, online bookings are only available and uh, so there were very few people in the train and it was completely sanitized so i guess it was good so it was safe overall yeah it was safe okay so why did you choose an option of traveling from train instead of taking a flight from Gujarat to Delhi? Uh, at the time, situation was not good. Mm -hmm. I came here before a month and uh, that was the 25th of June. So uh, at the time, situation was not good and because of that, uh, so many flights got cancelled. So, uh, so many people told me not to travel through flights because uh, if I miss that flight, I could not fly in the Vande Bharat flight, so I did not uh, want to take risk, and that's why I chose train. Okay. So, how much did you pay for the hotel stay that you booked near the airport? I booked uh, approximately two thousand bucks INR. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Two thousand rupees uh, for per day. For a day. Yeah. Okay. That's not bad. I mean. Yeah. Okay. I booked it through BNB. Uh, BNB. Yeah. Is it a website Fab, or? Yeah, Fab Fab Hotels. It was one of the Fab Hotels. If you guys know Fab Hotels, check. You can check Fab Hotels for okay. staying. Okay. Uh, and how was your Delhi airport experience when you finally reached there? Uh, it was good, actually. Um, it wasn't that much crowded, and social distancing were maintained by the people because. It is mandatory that you keep safe distance from people mm -hmm. and also you have to travel for longer hours like my flight was uh, almost around more than 15 hours so keep yourself safe and others safe okay and how was the staff like how was it was it they were, were cooperative. They cooperative yes and they were helping to elder people and also those people who are traveling with kids mm -hmm. Yeah, they were very uh, cooperative and uh, they uh, also took precautionary me measures and uh, Okay, so did you guys have any screening tests like did you have your temperature check any questions? Uh, yes, the uh, Before you enter in the airport there were uh, there was a, a sanitized 
sanitization area for your luggage mm -hmm. you have to put your luggage uh, into that uh, sanitized a uh, sanitization area and then you can uh, take your luggage and uh, uh, just enter into the airport so uh, how did you book your flight tickets uh, it is on the website of Air India and uh, you have to book your flights through that website only. You cannot contact any agents or uh, you cannot book it from any other websites. Mm -hmm. It is compulsory to book from their website. Uh, also you can use a phone app of uh, Air India and you can find the Vande Bharat option. You can book from that also. Okay, and how much did you pay for the flights? Oh my god, don't ask that. I paid one more than one lakh. But I guess uh, uh, the prices have been changed after I reach here. Uh, it is almost around 75 bucks. Okay, 75,000 bucks. Thousand. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. So you paid one lakh Indian rupees? Yeah, more than that. More than that? Yeah. Wow, including taxes and everything? Yes including everything and uh, taxi my train ticket and hotel expenses are more than that i mean wow. i paid extra for all those stuff mm, that's a lot so how much luggage did you carry with you i carried two bags of 23 kgs uh, it wasn't exactly 23 kgs but try to maintain because uh, if it's more than that you have to pay for extra luggage uh, and they don't allow this as this flights are uh, special flights um, plus I had one laptop bag with me and a handbag in handbag I carried 7 kgs and in laptop bag I had almost around 4 to 5 kgs okay so you said you can pay for the extra luggage uh, no they ask uh, you to pay if it's uh, more than 23 kgs like uh, you it's allowed up to 25 or 26 kgs not more than that no but if you have a suppose if I have a third bag can I carry it like if I want to pay extra for the uh, whole bag no bef uh, I, I'm not very sure but you if you want to carry extra bag you can uh, check their website and because uh, I remember them. I have like the other friend uh, who came she said like you can really carry it even if you want to pay you can pay for the extra baggage yes that's what I said that these flights are special flights so they don't allow you extra baggage okay okay so how was your like experience in the plane how was it safe or was it crowded you know I can say a bit crowded because uh, because there were no social distancing oh, no not at all no not at all uh, yes until you board the flight and when I landed here uh, they were only allowing few people at a time to uh, leave the flight but uh, yes all the seats were full and booked so there was no social distancing in the flight but uh, they provided us with mask uh, and face shield so uh, you can wear that and uh, those people who booked uh, middle seat they had the ppe kit and it was compulsory to wear that so it was a bit safe but i cannot say uh, there was any social distance hmm. okay uh, and how was the food uh, honestly i did not eat that because it was so much uh, like uh, they put food on your seat and uh, you have to open it and eat it so i could not eat it why because the, what do you want the, you want them to open it for you no <laughs> definitely not but food might be cold or uh, i don't know I, I i don't know so you didn't eat anything for 15 hours nothing nothing only i had few chocolates and uh, energy bar protein bars with me so you bought it from them from or home. you or you from had it from home yeah. okay so i suggest that those people who are traveling with the kids especially uh, they allow your homemade food right now so carry it with you because you don't want your kids to get sick right. so i just wanted to know like how did you spend your time like 15 hours uh, uh, actually the screen wasn't working uh -huh. that entertainment screen so <laughs> uh, uh, people told me to 
like download something for me so i downloaded few netflix episodes and that was it and i slept for few hours so i don't know uh, it was uh, pretty uh, anxious for me but uh, so many people those who have company those who had company with them they can talk to each other it is the best time to talk with your partner huh. yeah so how was your canadian airport experience it was pretty good the immigration officer only asked me one question that if i had any quarantine plan which i had and don't lie to them it's not good if you don't have uh, you can tell them that uh, we don't have any quarantine plan so they can offer you uh, some uh, institutional um, quarantine plans mm-hmm. or you can either email them before you uh, take your flights okay and how did you like so you already had your quarantine quarantine uh, plan yes uh, Uh, I spent my 14 days into the quarantine which was in the basement of one of the family friends oh. uh, home and it was totally separated that uh, I had my own washing area my food uh, like I could prepare some food over there and also uh, one room so I did not go out for 14 days and did they like did they check upon you the CIC the immigration but uh, did they call you yes email? i got uh, two order generated emails uh, t- um, telling me that i should not go out and also i got two phone calls i gave uh, the canadian number of the family friend so uh, they asked them whether i am uh, inside my home or not and uh, is there any symptoms or not so they keep up check checking on you. Oh, they keep checking. Yeah, because I even heard uh, from someone that sometimes they even visit you, right? Like if uh, you Oh, yes. Sometimes uh, if they find anything skeptical or if they are worried about your health, they uh, visit your place of quarantine. So, how did you file your other documents like your uh, CE number, health card, PR card? A uh, PR card application was done by the uh, those officers uh, in the airport. and uh, we just had to fill up the form and tell, give them address so those guys who are planning to stay in airbnb during their quarantine time uh, please check that whether you can give that address or not because sometimes they cannot send it uh, pr card takes uh, almost around 2 months so i still don't have it but i have one family friend living here so i gave that address for my pr card and sin application i did it online I submitted my uh, proof mm-hmm. of uh, landing mm-hmm. my passport and other uh, address proof uh, um, address proof right yeah so I did that and health card uh, you cannot apply till you get uh, till you get your any Canadian uh, photo identity card so I applied for a photo identity card it will take around 15 days to one month and after that i can apply for my uh, health card or otherwise you can apply for driver's driver's license and you can get your health card after you get your driver's license okay and how yes. did you apply for your photo identity card uh, i visited service ontario and i f- uh, i applied there after m- uh, i completed my 14 days so guys please don't go out till your quarantine time gets over because it is very necessary that you complete your quarantine period otherwise it is not safe for you as well as for others all right all right so before i wrap up this video i'm just going to ask you one last question how was your like total experience of you rated your overall experience and if you have any tips for people who are still planning to come through this program uh actually the experience was uh, pretty thrilling for me <laughs> uh it was good mm, i was little bit anxious about my health but everything uh, went pretty well uh, because i took all the precautionary measures and safety measures which is very much necessary when you are traveling through this pandemic you have to be careful about everything and uh, Uh, only tip i want to give you is don't overload your luggage mm-hmm. because otherwise they will tell you to throw out and you don't want that right and if you are planning to come and no buddy is here so please before you come here have your quarantine 
plans ready because they will ask you and check up on you all right guys that was her experience and yeah i mean like it wasn't meant to discourage you in any ways you know it was her experience it depends on person to person comment below if you have any questions and if you like this video give thumbs up share it with your friends and subscribe this channel yeah subscribe to my channel uh, i've just started and i would like to thank guzzle once again it was really nice of her you know thank you sagar all right guys take care okay bye bye, bye. travel safely so my first question is uh, what's your status like stop okay. you cannot ask directly first question Can you